The next question. The member for Haldeman Norfolk. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. My office has been overrun with emails from farmers from across Ontario who are very concerned with Bill 97 and the provincial planning statement. Speaker, members opposite must be getting the same message because yesterday in this House, the Premier seemed to be backing down. I guess the question remains, how do we go from zero severances to three severances per farm? This government's preoccupation with building houses is clouding judgment, as this proposed policy puts over 510,000 acres of Ontario farmland in jeopardy. And in Oxford County, they've concluded in a recent report that 10 per cent of its prime agricultural land could be lost forever. Farmers don't want to hear how important it is to build these houses. They see the value in one succession planning lot, but three. Speaker, through you to the minister, what was Question. the significance of the three lots to begin with, and how will this government proceed on this policy? Of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased to rise in this House today to share that the purpose of moving Ontario forward is that we're excelling on all cylinders, and that includes our agri-food sector. And it means making sure that we have employees and family members that want to work on the farm close to home so they have access to that farm. But the most important part in all of this conversation today is to recognize that our government put forward a consultation on the provincial policy statement. The whole concept behind a consultation is that you position, you, you put out ideas so that you can hear people's perspectives and bring them back and understand where priorities lie. Order. And in that spirit, I am so pleased to share with you, as the Premier for shared Hamilton yesterday, Mountain, come to order. that the Response. commodity organizations, the livestock commodity organizations and other organizations as well, came forward, exercised their respectful voice. Thank you very much. The supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. While I appreciate the answer, consultation after the fact is really a moot point. This, in this winter, I in introduced my first private member's bill, a bill designed to protect Ontario's most productive lands, a bill supported by Ontario's top farm groups and everyone in this House except those purporting to be pro-farmer. Before I introduced my bill, I met with farmers, I met with farm organizations, and I solicited their opinion ahead of time. The past few days, we hear this government backing down on the original proposal, but where will we land? A government in touch with rural Ontario would have known this was not a good idea to float in the first place. So with all due respect, farmers and the people of Ontario don't need more time. They don't need until August 6 to tell this government how they feel about this policy. Speaker, through you to the the minister, will this government announce today that their trial balloon has been popped, and will they back down on this policy? To respond, order, order, order. To reply, the premier. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank uh, the member for the question. You know, we we came out all in good intentions, talking to farmers, as I mentioned yesterday. The number one, the number one concern is the kids are leaving the farm, they have no place to leave, not live. And there's many jurisdictions that won't even allow the farming families to build a home for their kids. And then the other big concern, and I mentioned it yesterday in the House, I talked to a farmer yesterday and he has 100 temporary foreign workers that they have no place to, to live. So we're listening to the farmers, and as I mentioned yesterday, again, we sat down with the farmers, all the associations, and they thanked us. They thanked us for always having their back. They said that there's never been a government, never been a government Order. that supported the farmers more than Response. they did. We're going to listen to the farmers, Mr. Speaker. 